You want shirts? I got shirts. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and welcome to March. Today is Sunday, which means we're going to do a Q&A video. I believe this is episode 10. Very excited to have 10 episodes deep of this video series. Every week, you guys give me some amazing questions, and I love answering uh, questions that I haven't thought of before. And uh, that's really why I'm doing this. I'm doing this you know, for you guys. So I got a couple of great questions this week. But first, I want to mention that the free skin giveaway is going live today. So in order to get a chance to win that free skin, be a subscriber, leave a comment on this and other videos. I will choose a video at random this week and a comment at random this week and um, give that person a or buy that person a skin for their uh, for their account and yes this is for the web version the facebook version or the mobile version it does not matter which version you play you're getting a free skin so with all that being said the rules of the question and answer video is leave a question in the comment section of this video and i will try to answer the best questions that you know the top three to five questions i try to always do one team-based question as well so i'm going to do one of those today but um let's uh let's get started into those videos so first i've got roy asking what is the best way to level one of each artifact type simultaneously do you uh, do i focus on one hero until he needs a new resource color then use the previous color on a new on a new hero so roy what i do with my artifact teams <clears throat> sorry with my teams leveling their artifact uh artifact ring book and weapon i will level up my tank first. I level up my tank to the uh, to the next color resource tier or, or next promotion or whatever you want to call it. And then I devote my next bunch of resources into my healer and the next bunch of resources into my primary damage dealer. Okay, there's probably pros and cons to doing that, but the idea behind it is I stair step myself up. So right now, for example, on my Facebook account, I have a, um, I have Kark, at my Astaroth and Martha are already uh, maxed out at 100, rank 100 all the artifacts. So my Kark is at orange, and I've got a couple of other heroes that are um, that are you know tagging along behind it. And you know I'll I'll have a I'll have an image on the screen real quick. You can see that my Nebula is currently in violet, my Faceless is in blue, and then I've got another of other heroes in green. I've been leveling up Cleaver a little bit, Jorgen I need to work on, Kai, um, he was in my top 10 heroes, but now I've kind of uh, I've kind of switched off of him a little bit since Sebastian's been added to the game. Sebastian's a great counter to the twins, at least on Facebook. So how I do it is I devote all my orange artifact components to Kark, I devote all my violet artifact components to Nebula, all my blue to Faceless, and all my green to Cleaver right now. And then all my gray, I just I've just been leveling up you know, random other heroes, uh, artifacts as, as I go. And the, and the reason why I do that is I get a number of different color artifact components each day. And this way I can move them to the hero that, you know, that I'm working on that I feel is the most important. So that's, that's how I level up my artifacts. I hope that's helpful. I do tank healer, then primary damage dealer, and then on to my support heroes. Wasim asks why you don't talk about ginger. Please talk about her. Is she good enough? So I get this question a ton, and Wasim, thank you so much for asking this question. I, I'd love to have the opportunity now to address that question. I get asked the question a ton. Please do a video about Astrid and Lucas. Please do a video about Lilith. Please do a video about Celeste. Please do a video about Ginger. And the reason why I have not gotten to those videos yet is just that there's too many heroes to get to. So there's 46 heroes out there, and I have to have a way to kind of schedule who I talk about. I can't just, you know, do a, a solid month talking about hero after hero after hero after hero. You guys would get bored of doing that. So what I like to do is I've been kind of following the hero of the month on Facebook and mobile and doing the who is videos and which heroes to level with videos and then the Team Fight Tuesday videos with those specific heroes. Now, months like this, the month of March, we have two heroes that I believe that I've already covered. I think we've got Lian on Facebook and I believe we've got Daredevil on mobile as the heroes of the month. So since I've already done a Team Fight Tuesday for both of those heroes, what I might do is I might focus on Cleaver and Jet since they'll never be the hero of the month. 
or maybe I'll just do Ginger for Wasim here. I don't know. But to short answer, uh, Ginger is a great hitter. She's she's a marksman that, that uh, fights in the back line or the or the mid to back line. I'm I'm not as much a fan of her as I am of Kira and other damage dealers. She's a pretty solid hero. Her health is kind of weak, but she, I've always been a huge fan of redheads. <laughs> But uh, I hope that answers your question why I don't talk about this hero or why I don't talk about that hero. I have personal preferences just like everybody else. So Blue Stacks asks, in the stats screen, what does the next level refer to? So whenever you, you have a hero pulled up and you're looking at the stats screen here, um, I'm not sure what he's referring to as far as next level, but what I think he might be mentioning is whenever you're looking at an item to level it up. So let's like, if I'm looking at... If I'm looking at Satori's Gift of the Elements here, I can hover over and you can see what the next stats will be. You can see the strength, intelligence, and agility will jump up. And then if I look at his skills, you can kind of hover over it and it says next level. Damage for each mark is this. So what this is doing is this is the game telling you what that ability, what that stat, what that artifact, what that you know, what that thing is going to be if you invest the resources in it to level it up. And it's doing this so that the game can provide you with opportunity to make decisions on where to put your resources. For example, I can take a look at this and say, okay, so I only have enough gold to level up one skill. Let's actually, let's take a look at a hero that I don't have anything invested. Come on now. All right, so here we go. Here we go. So I can look at, I can look at Heidi here and I can see that um, Death Flower's ability will go up by I don't know, 60, 80 damage if I level this up. Or I only have enough gold to level up Death Flower or Toxic Spit, but not both. So I'm looking at Toxic Spit here and I can see that this damage goes up by, you know, about the same, about the same. So I can kind of make the decision, okay, so if the damage on both of these abilities are going up roughly the same, which skill effectively is better. So the game is letting you make decisions on resources in that way, just kind of giving you a heads up on how things are going to look if you do invest the resources. So I hope that answers your question. It, 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 isn't, it isn't saying that's what it is now. It is saying what it could be if you invest the resources. So yeah, hope you uh, hope that answers your question. Uh, Molly360 uh, asks, why are the daily bonuses much better on my videos than the in-game ones? So I have actually got this question a ton in the last week. I'm not sure why, but um, on Facebook and what, what she, he, they, um, sorry, I'm not sure your gender. What they're referring to is the daily bonus rewards for logging in. You can see here that I've got gold, energy, um, various coins, some skin stone chests, spheres, uh, a lot of Leon hero soul stones. Um, and then I've got this Hero Soulstone chest, which I did a video about um, over the past weekend. And on mobile, the rewards are less exciting. This is how Facebook used to be. The, the mobile login rewards was roughly the same as the Facebook login rewards. However, uh, a couple of months ago, they made a change to the special events tab. I think it was actually the month of June of 2019. They, they changed the Facebook login rewards to be more impactful, to be more interesting. The mobile version hasn't made that change yet, and I do not know why. The mobile version daily login rewards are boring compared to the Facebook versions, and they definitely need to change it. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, <laughs> please, maybe maybe message the developers about it. They really need to make this change. It's such a huge deal to have access to this um, to this lesser hero soulstone chest every month. Uh, I, you know, you can get, you can get your, you know, you can get Martha just for playing for 28 days. You can get, I don't know, other heroes that you just normally wouldn't have access to. You can get, you know, your, your Cleaver, not, not Cleaver. You can get your Kark Soul Stones faster this way. I, I don't know. It's just, it's such a huge, it's such a huge change. I don't know. And I know that they're making big differences between the Facebook and the mobile game. I just feel like that this would be a hugely positive and globally well-received change on mobile. I don't think a single person would complain about the change on mobile if they made that happen. I don't know. Finally, William asks, I've got a pretty specific question and this may be the wrong place to ask. No, this is fine. Go ahead and ask your questions here. He goes on to give me his current lineup of Astaroth, King Mal, Kira, Celeste, and Thea. They're just above level 50 and he has been slowly grabbing Jorgen's soul stones from the Outland vendor. Been patiently getting his stones from the shop. Uh, how would in, how would you how would I incorporate Jorgen into this team effectively? All right, and I'll get to the rest in just a second. So what I would do in this team is I would take this team, Astaroth, King Mal, Kira, Celeste, and Thea. I would keep it as is, 
and swap out Celeste for Jorgen for some heroes that need to be slowed down. So if you're going up, up against a Galahad team, whenever I go up against a Galahad team on uh, on Facebook with my Kark team, I use Jorgen to slow down Galahad's energy gain because Galahad seems to get really fast energy gain because of you know because of his different you know area of effect damage abilities. I also use Jorgen on defense as he's a nice defensive. Uh, hero. So maybe you swap out King Mao for Jorgen on defense. Maybe you swap out Celeste for Jorgen on offense when you're going up against uh, teams that don't necessarily have strong healers. One of Celeste's big abilities is the ability to negate healing. So if you're going up against the team that doesn't have a lot of healers, uh, or maybe has one really weak healer like uh, like Maya or um, uh, I don't know, Phobos, then incorporate Jorgen instead. And definitely do not use Jorgen against Satori. That's a that's a, that's asking for trouble. All right. And let's see the next part of the question: um, which which use for uh, Outland tokens? I would say in a Kira team, keep leveling up that King Mao. King Mao is going to be so effective with Kira um, for a very long time. You're gonna you're gonna swap King Mao in and out for Anvari and other heroes on different occasions, but. She's still a pretty strong hero, and it doesn't take a long time to get Absolute Star using Outland Tokens because you get so much every day, okay? And, you know, for another another question that he asks is saving for skin certificates. So there is a line of thinking, there is an argument for people to not use Outland Heroes until the very late game because the skin stones, being able to purchase those skin stone chests every day, because you can only buy one a day from the Outland vendor. You can buy the small one and the big one, sure, but you can only buy one a day. Um, <clears throat> using your Outland coins for skin stones for your primary team, if it doesn't require an Outland hero, is actually a pretty interesting strategy if you think about it. However, Jorgen is such a strong hero, and King Mao is such an integral part of your Kira team, it's a, it's a hard argument to make. So I could say you could go either way, but neither way is wrong. Does that make sense? Spin them on Kira. I'm sorry. Spin them on King Mao and or Jorgen, or spin them on the skin stones or skin certificate. Neither one of them are the wrong answer. So, with all that being said, uh, I'm gonna repeat this again. If you have a question that you'd love me to answer on this video, please put it in the comment section down below. Message me directly on Facebook with the you know saying, hey, I would love for you to answer this question on on the Facebook video, or you know, just you know, hit me up on the Discord as well. Discord links in the description down below. Um, this channel, I'm sorry, this YouTube video is gonna be specifically for the Q&A stuff. So if you're trying to leave a comment for the skin stone giveaway, I'm sorry, the skin giveaway, please make it a question so I can uh, maybe use it to answer a question next week. But keep in mind, in order to qualify for that free skin, you have to both be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video that I randomly select. So I'm um, working on that this week. I'm going to do a live stream later on this week doing the first giveaway. Uh, so pay attention to that. Um, I love you all and good luck in Dominion.